Hey guys, uh, AGT loser, Steven Brundage here. Uh, <laughs> I am the magician from season 11 of America's Got Talent, and I did Rubik's Cube Magic. I went all the way to the semifinals and uh, the top 12, which was kind of an amazing experience. I thought I would react to Shin Lim, because he just won America's Got Talent. I've been friends with Shin Lim for, Shin Lim, <laughs> sorry, for a few years now. Awesome dude, uh, super big congrats for him winning, but I thought I would watch all the episodes and give my thoughts about it. We have a little bit differences in our style of magic. I'm a little more talky. Uh, up close interaction. Shin Lim has amazing mu musicality and he does nice slow epic visual hair thingy. He, he like moves his hair back, all that. Which is great because it's different, uh, they're unique, and you have to respect that. So I have little differences in my approach towards magic, but you gotta give man credit. He has done a crazy job on it. Fool Us, America's Got Talent, winning the show. Uh, I actually heard Shin Lim was gonna be on America's Got Talent about a year ago before America's Got Talent was even filmed. And I kind of predicted he would win uh, just because I knew his type of magic and I knew what the judges would want. And AGT as a whole is this giant cog of just uh, amazing show first up and experience, but there's a lot more that people don't see, whether it's the backstory or, you know, how it all works, pitching magic to them. Uh, and I thought Shin Lim would do great for that. So right now, guys, I am going to go watch Shin Lim's video and I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Take one. Anyone. He's talking. Okay. Here's the music going in the background. We have oh, the Queen of Spades okay. selected. Can you write your name? Okay. Okay. He's a... Uh, Tyra wrote her name with the Queen of Spades, Tyra with the heart. In the deck. Wait, that was visual. Oh that looked really good. Rubbing it. His sexy face, look at that. Bam, it's gone. Okay, that was clean too. Oh! It's nice. I've seen that tattoo before. It's good. <laughs> The deck chain is red. They're all red in one part of the Oh, this is going to be good. He does that change very, very well. <coughs> so switch places and plank, nice. Oh, he's making a... Okay. This is very, very clever. It changes. And the card is going to be in the red envelope. Maybe not. That'd be a good twist if he didn't have it there. But it is there. In fact, that's still possible. Oh. Nice. Back in the deck. There's a lot of magic in this uh, first audition, which is good. Oh, sh that's f good. <laughs> that was really, really good. That was visual as hell. I don't know where the fuck the other card went. Um, 
That's a really, really good visual. <coughs> the card goes in, uh... Oh, this is so fucking good. I think this is his best performance I've ever seen. Now it's a block. That is <laughs> You could tell he's really happy the way this performance is going. He's like smiling. Um, oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that was so dope. Holy, this is the best performance I've ever seen him do. Oh, that was so great. My favorite moments was when it was just a deck and then it was all clear and the, he, that looked great, and then the visual just, that was very aesthetically pleasing of the card in the middle. Then he turned to glass, and then that glass, when he made it disappear from the box, oh, that was so good. A couple of interesting things about this specific episode. The way that America's Got Talent cuts up the episode, they give you three minutes. So his performance, I know, was longer. He did different tricks, but the way they cut it out, you miss some of the things about the performance, which was interesting because I know he had some killer routines that he wasn't able to do uh, because they cut it down a little bit shorter. And I know that America's Got Talent was trying to get Shim Lim to do the act he did on Penn and Teller. Uh, they were begging for that, uh, his his act that he did. He does a dream act and then 52 Shades act, uh, and he won FISM with those acts. But essentially, uh, he said no, and he fought it. So I know this is a brand new routine that he just came up with, so he could do those acts later on in the show. So I think that's really smart of him to do that. So he saved stuff that the producers wanted to have on the TV show. So it was an almost automatic yes to go to the next rounds because they wanted that uh, later. I kind of screwed up because uh, the trick that the producers asked me to do, they kind of forced it out that first round. Um, where if I would have saved it towards later, uh, maybe I would have went, you know, I could have had that in the in the holster ready to go, but Shinlin was awesome for making a brand new act for the auditions. That was great. Let's keep going. Uh, what was kind of funny is I know that Shinlin, normally he's very stoic, and I've noticed he's been smiling more on America's Got Talent, which I think is very smart because you want to be appealing towards family and kids. Uh, stoic is great, but also adding the smile in is very helpful. So you notice that Shinlin will smile more than he did if you are a fan of him for the last couple of years. So, side fun thought. Of three queens. I think she would get an ace or something, or let's see. See, that's nice. See, the music kicks in and then the magic happens. It's timed perfectly, which I wish I would have music in my show. I should probably have music in my show. <clears throat> Kidding me? That move is really hard and difficult. That's and to do that on TV, that's a lot of pressure. Okay, so now the aces are just here. Okay, nice. I actually I tried learning this act. Um, I bought his DVD. I actually so, so funny. I I paid a kid a thousand bucks to build this trick for me. I practiced for a week and I just gave up, <laughs> which is is really hard to do. <laughs> Again. Yeah, so I literally did this act and I was learning it and it was so difficult that I almost, I probably gave up. I did give up. Plus I didn't want to copy someone because he's doing it. I, I don't want to copy him. That's so cool. And, oh, see that's, that's nice. So he's done this act for a few years, and it's really cool to see the progression of it, how it gets better and better. You see, changes stuff all the time. Um, that's The 
music is so great for this act. And then, uh... Oh. Ooh. Look at that wink. He just double winked and it was sexier than the one. He just did a double wink and it looked amazing. No one double winks and it looks good. Like, I understand, like, the one wink, but Chin Lim just blinked at us. So normally I watch uh, magic acts from a magician's goggles, so I know how magic trick works. Um, so when I watch it, I always study, like, oh, but right now I'm kind of looking at it from a lay person. I'm looking at it from a normal person. That, this sh is so visual. Like, this is just clean, beautiful magic, like, cards disappearing. If you know nothing about magic, this is, like, real magic. Like, that's crazy. I wish my magic was like that. I think the best part, if you know what he's doing, it's so much more impressive than if you don't know. Like, it's so freaking crazy how awesome that is. And the best part is 99.9% .9 of people have no freaking clue what he's doing. And that's amazing. I think that's so freaking cool. Oh my god, we gotta... This vanish right here. Look at this next one. We gotta go back and do this again. Just look at that. It's from there. And they're gone. They just disappeared. And his hands are empty. Look at that. And this one. Look at... Oh. Oh. Shin Lim. And then here's the best part. So it disappears. Ooh. Oh. Watch the double wink. Look at that. Oh! That was... Okay. Next act. I don't even know what to say. So that was his judge cuts. You have to go through with that. Like, you can't cut Shin Lim at this point. Of course he's going to go through. Uh, oh, okay, let's see. Two cards, okay? Two jokers. Damn. See, that's visual. He now has a full deck. Who needs the jokers? I like how he's so mute. Like, look at... Everything he does is timed to music. His hand movements, everything he does. Anytime he does anything, there's always a beat that hits, which I think the amount of work that takes is insane. That's a lot of rehearsal and a lot of practice. Let's see, four aces. Like, listen to the music and listen to when stuff happens. And I know AGT might have switched the music on him, but you see that? The beat dropped and then he just changed cards. I heart AGT. Or USA, one of those two. There we go. Now you gotta play up. You gotta play. People love that. Oh, he's doing both. Way to play it up. So you love. Uh, America and America's Got Talent. Smart. You gotta play for every demographic possible. Pause. They would never let me do a plug. Are you kidding me? I, I almost feel like he didn't tell them he was gonna do that. Like, they're very specific. Like, if I say, hey, vote for... They, they don't let you plug anything on the show. So the fact that he got that in is awesome. He's literally saying, like, vote for me when he's on the show. Um, in an episode, like, oh, that's cool. That's smart. Very, very smart, Chin Lim. And he, this time he winked with one eye. Let's go back and study this wing for a second. I want to see. Oh, that's good. But he's smiling too, which is good. He's not as stoic. Wait, he's still stoic, but he's not like too stone faced. <laughs> the smoke coming out. <laughs> and then listen to the music again right here, right there. It hits. The second hit is coming up.
nice. Here's the box and back to the card. And it's gone. Look at that move. Look at the ending pose. Like, bam. Any. That's the. You saw the smile. Okay. In the four years I've seen him perform, I've never seen his teeth when he performed. And look at that. He just hit him with. Look at that. Look at that smile. Bam! Right there. Goshen Lin. He's crazy. And you know what the one thing about it is like, I don't put in as much work as him. And I'll be dead serious. Like Shin Lim spends hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just working on his magic. Literally just tinkering, building stuff, timing it to music, rehearsing it over and over again. That's some crazy work. Me, lazy. I might, I might start doing more of it. Like this is me actually working right now, trying to just make content. But like putting in the work on the magic show, I think that's kind of cool to see what it could you know, turn out to be is so killer. It's great. Let's watch more. <clears throat> so this is his dream act, I think. Uh, so Heidi signed a card. Music again is fantastic. He did this act on Penn and Teller. Uh, great freaking act. So he put the card down. Let's see. Oh yeah. Nothing up my sleeves. I'll roll them up. He's smiling. You see, that's great. And then he pauses, look at that, and he builds it up, adds the temp music. Oh, this music is so good. Smoke again. Shin Lim is known for his smoke. Where is it coming from, though? And the card's gone. Where could the card be? Watch the framing on this. Look at this framing, look. Oh. He gets both hands going, and then he pauses and breathes. Oh. Most impressive part, he did not take the carp out of his mouth to unfold it. Try that at home. Very difficult to do. It looks easy. Um, no. So you have a card here. Do this one hand. You can't do it. Difficult. Hi, <clears throat> that's your card. Yeah, yeah and that's still her card. <clears throat> You didn't, most people who notice when the marker just sure. came out. He didn't have a pocket there. He pulled it out of nowhere. That's real magic. Uh, can you go ahead and open the marker? Write your name right away. Shin Lim, I'm so glad he won America's Got Talent. I'm What's sure kind of funny is there. my bookings will probably go up because people are going to inquire about Shin Lim being like, hey Shin Lim, can we book you? And he's going to be charging so much that they're going to go down, oh, maybe we get a different agency performer. And they hire me. Maybe I should add music. <gasps> if I have smoke coming out of Rubik's Cubes, right? And get the music going. White Shin Lim. <laughs> I gotta grow my hair out a little bit though. I gotta add some epic music and I gotta like pose. Smoke come out. Okay, oh, let's watch some magic. So what did he, I missed what he did. We just. Oh, the cards disappeared. Oh yeah, that's visual as hell. They're in the box. This is cool. So he has one card left hand, big deck in the other hand, and... Look at that smile, he knows what's happening. Oh, that's so good. He even smirked when he's like, I'm gonna get you on this. And he hit him with it. See, don't see that. The two puts it in the middle, so the two's gone. That was so he actually just put the two away. No, and it comes out of the pocket. And it's still her signature. That's great. Okay, it's in his hand. Oh, it's in his back pocket now. Okay. Is it the same signed card? Yeah, it has a name on it. I think this neck part is sick. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. The visuals are great. Like, everything about the routine. Like, look at it. And then he makes the card disappear. And the smoke again. And then check it out. One...
That's impressive. How does his hair stay up like that? That's great. So the tyrant card is in his mouth, the jack of clubs, and he swift. That's good. That's awesome. And he switched back. He's acting a little work, but I don't <laughs> He knew it was good. Um, I like how this act is simpler in the sense of it's less cards going crazy. And it's just happening with two cards, and they're transported, they're moving around. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, oh, another cool part. So a lot of times, if you want to draw attention to something, uh, a lot of corporate speakers use this, and a lot of, uh, just in general, you bring the music down. Or if you want to have an important, 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 important moment, basically you lower your voice really, really low, and people will start paying attention, ready for the build-up. So that's awesome that the music goes down, you start to focus in on it. And then it just disappears. That's great. I love how the music gets more subtler and subtler as it just this cl comes to a closing point. The smoke. That's great. And the lights come on. So it's cool the fact that it's not this big. His finale was big, but then the music came down and he brought it in tight. Which I think is a great way to frame the moment and end on like a really, I guess it adds emotion to it, I would say. I was 19 when I first developed Carpal Tunnel in both of And also fingers. another backstory about AGT, right now he's talking about his Carpal Tunnel and his fingers. Story is everything. A lot of people don't know the amount of length. Like when I first did the show, interview after interview trying to find your backstory. My backstory wasn't great. I was pigeon toed and... Um, and I was bullied. I think that was my backstory. But Shin Lim, good backstory, Finally. awesome magic. Uh, Eventually I had to quit playing the piano and take what used to be a hobby. This, oh, look at that. A little bit more seriously. What? Okay, pause for just a quick second. And what Shin Lim was doing, so he's making these cards disappear like that and pulling them out. Normally when you do the trick, um, you still have cards hidden in your back hand and you're pulling them out. His hands were freaking empty. So he literally pulled out a card, showed his hand empty, and pulled out more cards. That's crazy. Passion had ignited. That's insane. Fire. Now we're talking. Just like that. This stuff is good, but I prefer the card. I think this is just building up for And he gets a deck of cards. Nice. Put the dice over there and grab onto it. Roll it. Now, what's kind of interesting is uh, the way that the show works is you, AGT kind of will force you. Like, for example, when I went into Agent America's Got Talent, I tried to do other things besides Rubik's Cube Magic. They would not let me do it. Uh, I'm not sure if I can even say this, but essentially I was trying to do it. They wouldn't let me do it. I was had to do Rubik's Cube Magic. So with Shin Lim, I'm not sure if he tried to pitch other stuff than card magic. He might have. Um, or maybe he just stuck with the card magic, but it's one of those things where uh, a lot of times you lose creative control a lot, which is really tough uh, with the show, but even regardless, whatever his situation was, every act he's done, it's been building, and it's epic magic Roll. with cards, so. So she rolls a dice. Nine. I think that's a cool way to select the card. Yeah. All right, you can hold on to them. You said nine, right? Watch the deck. That's great. They all disappear. And they're nines. The that is awesome. Now out of those nines. <laughs> out of those nines, which ones do you want? I want the nine oh, of hearts. Oh, she wants the hearts. Nine of hearts. Watch. That's nice. <laughs> But it's a very visual change. <clears throat> Four nine of hearts. What's gonna happen next? This I, I watched this a little before. This is my least favorite of all Zach's, but mostly because all the other acts are so freaking good. Um, but it, for me, it's just a little bit too. 
died of hearts. That was a nice change. Card, a card. Let me guess, knives. That's good. And he's bigger knives too. That was nice. And then he pulled, that's good too. Oh, that's nice. And then a big, big knife. See, that's good, but I think by far, I think he probably made that up right before, he was probably pitching a million tricks and they almost, that was good though, I did like that. Um, though I, I think all of the previous stuff was a little bit better. This is freaking good. This is so good. I actually, I tried to do this trick. Uh, the person, this is good. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, this is, that's is not, a lot of people think this is a camera trick. This is not a camera trick. This is real life. That is real life. Look at this. And it's like, how could that not be a camera trick? And it's like, nah. And then the wink. See that wink? I think that's the best part. Oh. Damn. He changes the stoic look, it's the smile and the wink. Oh, and there's his teeth again. His hair changes every time. His hair just gets crazier and crazier. Um, how do you manage that? That's a lot of product. Let's see. Floating cards. This is my least favorite thing he did. But I think it's bigger, which is, it's cool to be able to sell the fact that, yeah, I did this big illusion. Uh, they're floating there. Wait a second. Oh, nine of hearts in the air. What he's doing right now, essentially, this is after he did the Tuesday live performance for the finals. This is Wednesday, so the votes don't count anymore, really. So essentially what they do is they bring on celebrity, they just have fun, kind of do a magic. So this is not really for winning the competition. This is more just like, hey, here's a celebrity. Uh, the fun part is you don't actually know you're going to be doing this trick until the week before. So for Shin Lim, it was literally like, hey, next week, you want to do a trick? And he has to come up with this and within one week. This is a great trick. So I've actually performed a very similar effect to this in a show's million times. Great reaction. Uh, I don't want to give it away, but essentially, really freaking awesome trick. And he does it very, very well. I think that's funny, but yeah. The guy laughed at him because... You pick the card, right? You get the point to apologize. His hair is different. His hair is different every time. Sometimes it goes to the side. Sometimes it's up. Shuffle, Crazy. But make sure it's in a nice, neat little pile like that. So now everyone's so shuffling cards. Kind of, you can even deal multiple cards like a packet if you Let's want. See. So essentially what they did is everyone had cards. One, two, they all shuffled them up. I got two. Um, they all dealt some um, and there they have a couple cards left. I know that he chose a card to begin. No, 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 you can throw as many. All right, don't touch your cards anymore. So look in this pile. Look, I'm not going to do anything funny. I would say about half of our cards are in here. Would you say that? Yeah, sixty yeah. percent. Yeah, sixty percent. That's very okay. accurate. Okay. Uh, you threw you threw a majority of your. <laughs> I cards did throw here. a majority of mine away. Yeah, which is which makes this trick a little bit harder. So thank you for that. Now, for the first time ever, what was your card? Because they don't they don't know what it is. Okay, you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can say it. Jack of clubs. Jack of clubs. Yeah. Jack of clubs. The chances of it being in here is about sixty percent, right? Yes, sixty. Yeah. No, it's not. You no. gave us the piles. I had no influence on you whatsoever. No. We didn't talk about this backstage or anything like this. This is the first time you've ever seen this, right? Yep. I like how he's like checking himself to see if he's like. Cards very thoroughly. He's like, what's yeah. happening? I feel like you're about to do something to us here, Shen. What if I told you? Well, that's the point. He's a magician. Even though all of that happens, <laughs> Jack of Clubs is in your pile. In my pile? Yeah. Never. What well, would you say? That's a twenty percent chance. Uh, zero. Less. Well, than okay. Well, let's do let's do better. Okay. What if it was at the top of your pile? In your pile, if you Jack of Clubs. Lift up the top pile. Flip it. I like he just show the card. Why are you hiding it, dude? There. What? Well, okay. Pause. I hate when people do that. Where they're just like, show the card. Jack of clubs. He's crying. That's good reaction. Why did you do that? You did that. I didn't do anything. Yes. And you shuffled the card. I did. How'd you do that? But we're playing poker, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's not over. You know, in poker, a four of a kind's the best hand. It's not the best hand, Shen Lim. It's a royal flush. That's why I have a jack. Tyra? <laughs> but That's still, why you have a jack. another jack. What the hell? 
Another Jack. Hold it up, hold it up. Bam, hit him. That was a good trick. For Merrick's Got Talent, the actual show, obviously his stuff is going so much better because of the music and the timing and everything. An incredible season, the winning moment. Let's see who wins. American These guys are great, by the way. Congrats, uh, good luck all the dancers. They did acrobatics. America Crazy awesome. Has voted. The winner of the one million dollars and the star okay, of down, the headline but. show in Las Vegas is. Who is it? All those loser kids. I apologize. <laughs> she waits like a minute to just say it, Dyra. She literally just sits, I guess she. I love how he falls over. Like, he literally fought. That's so cool. Like, he really, really felt it. Like, it, that congrats him, man. I feel like he's like, he's super humble too. Like, in person, chillest dude ever. And now he's on top of the world, and he's still the chillest dude. He's even texting me back on the show, which is, he's awesome, though. He's like, he's really, he's just a great guy. Uh, definitely deserves to win. Congrats, Shin Lim. Uh, that was freaking fantastic. Uh, you definitely deserve to win. Uh, overall, amazing, amazing, amazing performance. Uh, and I think you're going to help magicians out as a whole just because Magic is on a big stage again. Uh, when Matt Franco won America's Got Talent, I know that Magic was in the spotlight. Everyone's talking about it. Uh, I've had multiple people come up saying, hey, did you watch Shin Lim? And it's like, yeah, he did awesome. I always have positive to say about him. So congrats, Shin Lim. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe down below, like the video, leave a comment what kind of video you want to see me make next. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys soon, and have an awesome day.